early on a cold winter morning in May, Willem Bota prepares for his hunt at Otterslof Private Game Reserve, close to Philippoulis in the Orange Free State Province. In the dining room area of the lodge, with a fire made against the cold, there is time to grab a quick breakfast while waiting for the light outside to improve. Um, what would you like to shoot today? Uh, well, my number one at this stage is Waterbuck trophy. Okay. And uh, maybe Eland if you can find one, Blue Willow Beast, Red Heart Beast. But the Waterbuck is number one at this stage. I don't know what the weather is going to do, the wind is bad, but uh, oh, maybe sometimes the wind helps. But uh, let's go and see what we can find. Yeah, I think on a walk and stalk, the wind is going to help us a little bit. But it's cold and it's rainy, so let's see what happens. I think they will lay down. But if we spook them, they're going to go. Yeah. Yeah. But we're going to go into the cliff now and go up, up to the mountain. And there's a little bit of thick bush, so we're going to look through that and see if we can see a water buck or eland up there. Then we can go down to the plains and, and look for blue wildebeest, red wildebeest and stuff. Thank you, sir. Otterskloof is set on 15,000 hectares and the team has to brave the cold to reach the mountains for waterbuck. After an hour's drive or two, with the clouds seeming to disappear, Willem notices some water bug. Yeah, we saw some animals just on the other side of this mountain. So I think they're gonna come into the wind. So we're gonna walk around on the left side, and maybe walk into them now. And the wind will be perfect for us in them. So let's see what happens and then we can maybe get the shot there. Uh, there's a motorbuck bull about hmm, 400 meters from us, about 27 inch, 26, 27 inch, but uh, I think we're going to go go a little bit closer. But it's a possibility that it, that can be another bull or you know one or two other as well in that area. As the team approaches closer, the waterbuck bull takes off towards the reach. That mu this must be a porcupine. It's still fresh, so it must, must be last night. Here you can see the he's, he's growing for the roots in the bottom. There's your toes, one, two, three. There must, there's number four, and there's the cushion. That's a trap. The team glasses over the ravine, hoping to spot some game. We have walked for about 15 minutes now. Uh, we saw one bull on his own, a waterbuck, and we came to this cliff now. Uh, we call it a knapsack on Otterskloof. And we saw a herd of females, and there's one bull in. 
It's not the size that we are looking for, but at least we saw some animals on the stalk. So we're gonna go back to the truck now and take go to another place and take another walk there. But the wind is very strong on top of the mountain here. So we may be gonna go down into the cliffs. Okay, we're gonna it's the afternoon now, we're gonna walk a little bit for now, look for another water buck. Hopefully after the rain the sun just came out a little bit. Hopefully we will see some water buck now. We have seen a few on our way here. So hopefully we see a good bull and we can take him. Looking this way at 600 meters, and now we move around. We are now on this side, and uh, we're very close to the water buck. You know, just find that pool again and see how it looks from closer distance to see if it's good or not. A waterbuck bull is spotted and the team must decide if the horn length is what Willem is looking for. As the bull walks towards the shade of the mountain, a decision must be made. We saw the waterbuck. Uh, we had a shot at 262 meters, uh, but we came closer and Willem take a, took a very good shot at the water buck now. One shot down. Um, so we're gonna walk over to him now and see what, what it is. But it looks like a good one. It's it's a good water buck. It was an excellent Congratulations. It was a very nice hunt stalk, everything was good. It was really something special. No, uh, if you take the whole time of the stalk it's about yeah. two, two and a half hours. Yeah. No, it was very nice. So that's quite good. Let's go and see what it what it looks like. started off as morning at about uh, what, 8 o'clock. It was very windy, very cold, and then during the day it started raining, ice rain. And we saw a lot of water buck. We saw at least, I don't know how many water buck, but about 15 to 20 bulls. And we was looking for something close to 30 or even over 30. And then late afternoon we spot this water buck, and, uh, but we was too far off. It was uh, over a ravine, kloof, big kloof, and we decided to come all the way around and then we had a very nice talk on this animal and we decided, okay, this thing can be maybe 30 and I decided to take it. It was a fantastic hunt, fantastic stalk, real, a real hunt on a 15,000 hectare farm. Rough country, baboon country and we've got this animal very, very close to 30 and I'm very happy. Like this water buck, it was, I decided on an inch, it's rather going to be in 29 on a 30 inch. Willem likes to shoot a 30 inch. The water buck was 29 and a half inches. To decide on a 200 yards, 200 meters, an inch or half inch, that's difficult um, to say, leave it or go for it. So that's the difficult side of professional hunting. Um, to put, to take it out of the herd, I mean, sometimes it's not difficult to get the biggest one out of the herd, but to give the inches to the client, that's the difficult side. To shoot just the biggest one, that's that's not difficult. But to give the inches to that to the client, and it must be spot on, that's very difficult. And I mean, it's it's, it's luck if you spotted it right. Um, so I was a half inch out on this one, and what can I do? Uh, it's down. At Otters Kloof, it's quite exciting hunting these animals. Tell us a bit about the, the type of hunting that happens here at Otters Kloof. It's very exciting. Um, like you will see on the cliffs and the stuff that we hunted today, 
uh, if you walk in there, you don't know what you're going to expect. Um, you're going to get water bug, eland, everything is going to pop up. Um, then we have the Serengeti, the plains, where we can shoot blessed bug, spring bug. Um, maybe you can, we can sit you out and we, we drift the animals up to you. Um, so yeah, we have the cliffs and the mountains and the plains. So you can shoot from Springbuck up to Buffalo on Otterskloof. With the trophy photos taken, the team can relax and discuss the day around the fire at the lodge. In the next adventure at Otterskloof, Willem sets out on another, this time looking for mountain zebra.